If you get these three things right every day, you will certainly achieve non-diabetic blood sugar levels. There's no doubt in my mind that these three things work because they are the exact same tips that we have taught thousands of people who have successfully reversed insulin resistance, lower their A1C levels, lower their fasting blood sugar levels, and gotten off diabetes medications. I'm going to show you exactly what I do, what I eat, how I train, and the supplements that I take so you can apply the same principles in your own life. Just for the record, my A1C is 4.9, which is way below the typical level for somebody living in the United States. And here's the key. Everything that I'm about to show you is designed to increase your insulin sensitivity. That is the most powerful thing that you can do to lower your A1C and fasting blood sugar values long term because when your cells are more sensitive to insulin your body can move sugar out of the bloodstream and into the cells more efficiently this means that your fasting blood sugar comes down your a1c drops your energy levels go up you don't feel tired after eating anymore and yes you'll be able to eat healthy carbohydrates without fear all of this because you're gonna be able to reverse the root cause of the problem. So here are the three daily strategies that I'm gonna walk you through. Number one, strategic fiber-based nutrition. I'm going to give you a simple daily target that keeps blood sugar stable without restricting carbohydrates. Number two, muscle-driven glucose uptake. I'm gonna show you how I use movement to lower blood sugar both immediately and in the long term. And number three, smart supplementation for insulin sensitivity. I'm gonna show you the two nutrients that I take daily without fail in order to keep my insulin sensitivity high and my blood sugar stable. Let me show you how this looks in my real day. This morning, I kept it simple but powerful. Two slices of Ezekiel sprouted grain bread, mashed chickpeas mixed with half an avocado and some spices and lime, a handful of fresh blueberries, and a plant-based protein shake with almond milk. This breakfast alone gives me about 15 to 20 grams of fiber. That's already halfway to my daily target. And that brings us to tip number one, strategic fiber-based nutrition. Every single day, I aim for at least 40 grams of fiber, no exceptions, while keeping saturated fat intake below 5% of my total daily calories. Why, you may be asking? Because a 2024 systematic review published in the World Journal of Diabetes analyzed 26 studies and showed that higher fiber intake significantly improved HbA1c, fasting blood sugar levels, triglycerides, LDL cholesterol, and body weight. The benefits were the most pronounced when people ate between 35 to 40 grams of fiber per day. The conclusion of the study was the following. Dietary fiber represents a valuable strategy in the treatment of type 2 diabetes, improving health outcomes. Dietary fiber intake offers a potential to improve quality of life and reduce complications and mortality associated with diabetes. Likewise, through supplements or enriched foods, dietary fiber contributes significantly to the control of several markers such as HbA1c, blood glucose, triglycerides, LDL, and body weight. Mechanistically, fiber slows down glucose absorption into the bloodstream. It flattens out spikes and it feeds your gut microbiome, which produces short chain fatty acids that keep your body insulin sensitive. Plus, reducing saturated fat intake is crucial because excess consumption of saturated fat disables insulin from doing its job, which is shuttling glucose into your cells. For lunch, I had a quinoa and black bean bowl with spinach, sweet potatoes, and a dressing. That's another 15 grams of fiber right there. I try to keep my lunches as plant-based as possible since that will ensure the most amount of fiber per bite. However, I'm not always eating a plant-exclusive diet as I add fish, eggs, or dairy products occasionally. If you want to try our free recipes that reverse insulin resistance, I'll go ahead and leave the links below this video. You can also visit type2diabetesrevolution.com 
and try the delicious recipes that we publish every week. After lunch, I went for a 15 minute walk. Nothing intense, but incredibly effective. Once you're done eating, put your walking shoes on and go for a 15 to 20 minute brisk walk. This low intensity movement won't disrupt digestion, but it will help your body use the sugar from your meal right away. This brings me to tip number two, muscle driven glucose uptake. The science behind it is fascinating. A 2017 randomized crossover trial published in the Journal of Diabetology and Metabolic Syndrome compared post-meal walking to doing just one 45-minute walk before breakfast. The researchers found that walking for just 15 minutes three times per day after meals, that is breakfast, lunch, and dinner, led to significant improvements in HbA1c, fasting blood sugar levels, and postprandial blood sugar levels, that is your post-meal blood sugar, compared to just one session of daily exercise. The study concluded that moderate intensity brisk walking for 15 minutes after each meal is more beneficial to control blood glucose in patients with type 2 diabetes as compared to a routine 45-minute walk at stretch. Mechanistically, walking after meals enables your muscles to pull glucose away from the bloodstream and into the muscle cells through a mechanism known as contraction-stimulated glucose uptake. And the fascinating thing is that this pathway doesn't require insulin. It's quite literally like flipping on a vacuum that sucks glucose from your bloodstream and puts it in your muscle cells. But here's how you can supercharge that effect. You need to do resistance training two to three times per week for 30 to 40 minutes per session. Why you ask? Because resistance training builds more muscle and muscle is the storage unit for glucose. If walking turns on the glucose vacuum, then resistance training turns that vacuum into a high powered industrial grade vacuum. The more muscle you have, the bigger and more powerful your vacuum becomes. That means every time you move, whether it's walking or lifting weights, your body can clear more glucose from the bloodstream faster and more efficiently. So if you combine resistance training three to four times per week and daily post-meal walks, you're gonna be hitting insulin resistance from both sides, long-term muscle growth and immediate glucose clearance. A great place to start is with resistance bands, which you can do from the comfort of your own home. I'll go ahead and leave a link below this video so you can download our free resistance bands routine. Now for tip number three, smart supplementation for insulin sensitivity. Here's my daily routine. Berberine, 600 milligrams with breakfast and dinner. I take one capsule of Jade Supplements Berberine as soon as I take my first bite of food. Then I drink plenty of water with that meal. That gives me a total of 1200 milligrams of active compounds of berberine per day to become my most insulin sensitive self. Again, that's just one capsule in the morning with food and one capsule in the evening with food. Each capsule is 600 milligrams, so a total of 1200 milligrams per day. A 2024 meta-analysis of 50 randomized controlled trials published in the Journal of Frontiers in Pharmacology found that berberine was effective at lowering A1C, lowering fasting blood sugar, improving lipid profiles, and improving insulin resistance. The results were the following. The 50 studies actually involved 4,150 participants, and berberine alone significantly reduced fasting plasma glucose, two-hour postprandial blood glucose, low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, total cholesterol, and triglycerides. But the quality and dosing of berberine matters. Here's something that the supplement industry doesn't really talk about. Not all berberine is created equal. Some brands use very small doses in which you will need to take eight to 10 capsules per day just to get the necessary amount of active compounds. So here's what you want in a berberine supplement. Number one, it has to be third-party tested for purity and potency. Number two, it has to have proper dosing, 600 milligrams of active compounds per capsule. 
and it has to be standardized to 97% berberine hydrochloride, also known as berberine HCL. That's why I personally use and recommend Jade Supplements Pure Berberine. Each capsule contains 600 milligrams of berberine HCL. So you only need to take one in the morning and one in the evening to hit that optimal dose of active compounds. It's also pharmaceutical grade, properly standardized, and third-party tested. So you know that you're getting exactly what your body needs. Now, the second supplement that I take is magnesium glycinate, about 275 milligrams before bed. I also take ashwagandha in order to regulate cortisol levels, lower stress, and have a good sleep. Magnesium is involved in over 300 enzymatic processes in the body, including those that regulate insulin and glucose metabolism. It also helps with sleep and stress, both of which play a direct role in blood sugar control. We also recommend Jade Supplements Magnesium Glycinate, highly bioavailable, easy on the stomach, and properly dosed. If you want to check our Pure Berberine or Magnesium Glycinate, I'll go ahead and leave the links below this video. So here's your recap to lower your A1C. Number one, strategic fiber-based nutrition. Try to hit 40 grams of fiber per day and try to keep your saturated fat intake around 5% of your total daily calories. To make this easy, follow our free recipes to reach those targets easily. Number two, muscle-driven glucose uptake. Resistance training three to four times per week, and walking after meals for at least 10 to 15 minutes. You can go ahead and download our free exercise routine that you can do from the comfort of your own home. I'll leave the link below. And number three, smart supplementation to increase insulin sensitivity. Berberine, 600 milligrams twice daily, plus magnesium glycinate, 275 milligrams, about an hour before bed and you can also add ashwagandha. You can get these supplements from jadesupplements.com and you can use the code REVOLUTION10 at checkout to get your discount. All of the links will be below this video. These are the same principles that have helped thousands of people lower their A1C, improve their energy levels, and reclaim their health without fearing carbs and while actually reversing the root cause of the problem. If you got value from this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and comment below what would you like me to cover in the next video. You've got this. I'll go ahead and see you in the next one. Take care.